have that, we gotta get out of here before somebody comes in. I'm hurrying. Keep your voice down. Sure, you got it all, Dan? Yeah, you about done? Yeah. Buenos dias, senor. Buenos dias, senor. Come on, kid. Come on, Doc. Walk out. Walk out. Come on, kid. Wait a second, Dad. Young lady trying to cheat me here. Fight them fleas on your own. I'll see you later. <laughs> well, don't get drunk. You know, you're getting too fat to run. Let's go to glory, Dan. <laughs> I throw my saddle down, I guess. Oh, then you do much traveling. Yeah, I uh, might say that. I drift into one town out of another. And... Well, I transport money for the banks once in a while. You have a little something in your eyes, senor. Oh. Is it out? No, I, if you permit me, I think I could snag it out with this. Just close it. I have made the mistake of thinking that you were a gentleman. Now perhaps you had better leave. Please go. upbringing as a kid and all the manners I learned was in the saloon. I didn't have much chance to be around fine ladies like yourself. I'm sorry, senora. I just hope that you don't think too bad about me when I'm gone. Perhaps you were a little impulsive. You may call again if you wish. I just don't know how nice that makes me feel. Logan, 
con Ryu y cuidado con los sables. I shall be honored to wear it. Oh, thank you. Hey, kid! Get to the kid! Yeah! Come on, get on your horse! What's up? He's dead. They might have lived here. What do you think? Sorry, sweetheart. I... Maybe next time. <laughs> All right. <laughs>
We ain't gonna do no good from here. I'll be stomping all over since I don't know. We better think of something funny. And quick. Well, we're still got the horse. Oh, what good's that? You remember a little stick place just outside of San Felipe? The corral? Yeah, remember that was when you was drunk and killed that lady's goat? Remember? Listen, if I ain't wrong, I think it's, it's got to be four or five miles right down that canyon line. Ain't it? Well, that's not damn bad. If we rode that horse double up, she'd cave in on us before we went half a mile. Yeah, but one of us could stay here and hold this rim, and the other one go get us fresh mounts. Not a slim chance. Well, it's better than sitting there and waiting to get shot all to hell, front and back. Huh? Yeah, it might work. We ain't got no choice. You know, who rides and who stays? Well, let's shake up for it. Bullet rides? Bullet rides. Get a heifer. Take in, son. Give me papa. Buenos dias, senor. Well. Look. How much? How much? How much for those two horses? ¿Qué le puedo servir? Bueno, dos caballos. Pero vos esos caballos no quisiera vendérselos porque me costó mucho trabajo. Córtala. ¿Cuánto? ¿Cuánto? 200 pesos. 200 pesos. Anda, Manuel. Come on.
viejo, has visto un gringo pasar por aquí mucho muy apurado. Sí, capitán, un hombre muy malo y se fue por ahí y no traía zapatos. <risa> no chus, ¿ah? ¿eh? <risa> es aquel su caballo. Sí, señor, y se llevó el mejor de los míos. Te pagó, ¿no? Sí, mi jefe. A ver, ¿cuánto? Un poco. Hey, I wonder what happened to your friend, huh? Well, uh, maybe he goes back to find the shoes. <laughs> <laughs> Hard to find him. It's a very big country. I know all his old stamping grounds. 
Sooner or later, I'm going to find him. Five years we spent in that stinking home. By the time we live a little. What if he's dead? Then I'll find him dead. You could spend the rest of your life looking for these men. Let's get going. Sit down. Conozco un, uh, un hombre se llama Dad Longworth. No lo sé nada. Gordito. A ver qué quiere el joven. ¿Qué quiere, señor? Conozco un hombre se llama Dad Longworth. No lo conozco. No es cano. Ande, mamá. No, Esto es viejo. Que no quieren no. entrar. No, no. No quieren entrar ustedes. Quieren entrar o no. Dele, quítate. No quieren entrar. You wait here, and I'll be back right away. Oh, where are you going, Red? I'll be back. I think she's trying to get us drunk so she can take advantage of me, Hart. <laughs> Chico! Chico, you remember me? Sure do. How you been, Red? Muy bien, muy bien. How are you? I'm all right. What are you doing here? Killing time. It's five or six years since I see you. I hear you got in some bad trouble. Uh, a little bit. Mm, that's bad. Hey, what happened to your friend? Well, I don't know. I kind of lost track of him. When's the last time you seen him? Well, not since he was here the last time with you. Do you remember when the Rurales came and killed that guy? Wow. Maybe he ran back over the border. Yeah. Hey, Red, what you doing over here? I'm over there. Ah, oh, just one moment, baby. <laughs> I'm coming right away. I'm here talking to an old friend. Come on, what let's go. Momentito. Uh, she'll be right back. I'm just asking her a few things. Ask the questions on your own money, bud. Let's go. Come on. Momentito. Come on. Momentito. Don't be doing her like that. What did you just say? I said, don't be doing her like that. You know, I've had just about enough out of you, jackass. It's going to be a famous name around these parts. 
You're gonna get yourself killed by a fella called Real. My name's Emery. I'd like to sit down with you and buy you a drink. Got something I'd like to talk over. Mind if I sit down? Oh, don't pay no attention to him. He just pumped up a little. You must have heard of me. Bob Emery? Nope. Well, it don't matter anyway. You know, it's a real piece of luck my running into you like this. Got a good idea I'd like to talk to you about. How would you like to get rich once and for all? Could stand a piece of change, couldn't you? You got something to tell me? Fourteen days' ride from here, there's a town. And in that town, there's the fattest bank you ever saw. And it ain't nothing but a cheese box. What are you telling me all this for? I'm going to need some help to take that bank. How come you don't do it on your own? Two men ain't enough. I never saw a bank two men couldn't take. That's true. But this is a little different deal. The word's going around that you're looking hard for Dad Longworth. There's dirt between you. Now, if that's true, I can tell you where you can find him. Want me to keep talking? Uh-huh. Now, here's where the fun comes. And it's gonna tickle you. The sheriff in that town's dead Longworth. <laughs> now we're going to do some business. California. You know, I think of the money waiting in that bank just makes me want to cry. <laughs> Are you going to have diamonds in your teeth and you ain't never going to have to take that bag? <laughs> Come on, let's get down there and pick them out.
go in there and get the room. I'll be back. <laughs> For somebody? Looking for Dad Longworth. Could you tell me where I could find him? What do you want with him? I want to see him. Who wants to see him? I do. What about? I'm the deputy. I don't believe you could handle it. I asked you polite. Read that sign. I got a lot of funny things to do today, but lipping with you ain't one of them. I'd say you shy a few manners, mister. You're looking to get your back busted, sonny. I'm the man that takes care of them kind of things around here. Well, could be you get your chance to try it. Tell me where I'd find Dad Longworth. Oh, Dad's over home. Where's that? About two miles out of town, you take the South Fork plumb to the beach. This is the first house on the west side of the road. Visitor. Nobody's coming. Holster, please. What's the matter? Oh, never mind, just give it to me. Who's he? Close the window. Stay inside. How about yourself? I'm sneaking by. What's on your mind? Nothing. I just drifting through. I thought I'd look in on you. I knew you'd be coming sooner or later. But I'm glad you come. Because there's something I've been wanting to tell you for a long, long time. How about a drink?
Sit yourself. Now. Remember the last time we had tequila together? Sure do. That was up in, on the Mom Gallon Rim when we was hung up there, remember? About five years ago. That's right. No, just, yeah, that's right. It was just under five years. I, uh, I guess you wondered why I never showed with the horses. Yeah, I thought about it. Uh, you know, knowing how you was in them days, I'd beg you for getting drunk and falling down in some tequila and losing track of time. <laughs> No, I didn't forget, kid. But there was nothing I could do. When I got to that little rancho, there were no horses. That old Mexican couldn't talk American, and when I finally figured out his lingo, he was saying that he had sold the horses a couple of weeks before. The old paint horse I was riding was pretty done in, but I headed straight for you. When I got to the canyon, I see rurales all over the place. Well, I... I hightailed it out of there and got as far as La Quinta before the horse caved in. I hid out in a cantina and I gave the bartender some gold to keep his mouth shut. Well, there wasn't too much of that as I recollect it. It was enough to get me over the border and all the way here. Here to Monterey. I figured I'd keep my nose clean until the... until that... Um, break us down in Mexico was forgotten. Well, I kept myself clean. Clean enough to be elected sheriff. Knowing me the way I used to be, I, I couldn't blame you for not believing. But if you're looking now to be satisfied for what I did, I'd be sorry for it, kid. But if that's what you want, just let me know how and where you want the play. I'll stand up to you. You're getting way ahead of yourself, Dan. No need for all that, because <clears throat> nothing happened to me. I just fooled around them dog faces till it got dark, and I went down and I stole Captain's horse. They weren't about to find me, neither. And after that, it was just... You know, rosemary and sweet whiskey and just whooping and yelling. You sure that's the straight of it, kid? Well, you know me, Dad. If I didn't feel right about it, we'd been out there splattering each other all over that front yard. I admit I was hot about it for a time, but that's five years ago. Man can't stay angry for five years. Can he? You know what you're gonna do? Huh? You're gonna stay to supper. Well, isn't that a... <clears throat> I tell you, I was just poking through and thought I'd stop in and say hello, but it wouldn't look too good me hanging around your town. You let me worry about that. Well, now, you better think about it, because I'm still in business. I want you to meet my family anyhow. All right. Good. Hello. Hello? Are you waiting for my father? Yeah. Do you like to sit down? Yes, I, I would. Thank you. Oh, I'm glad you're here. Rio, I want you to meet my entire family. My wife, Maria. How are you? I do my own pleasure. And have you met my stepdaughter? You said hello. Well, this is Louisa, my stepdaughter. 
What are you doing for her? I love her as though she were my own natural child. Uh, Rio's staying to supper. Wonderful. We're happy to have you. Well, I don't want you to do any fuss, ma'am. Oh, no, it is not... No, the... no, no, no fuss at all. Now, you want to wash up? Yeah. Take his hat. <laughs> Heavenly Father, in thy graciousness, thou hast seen fit to grace this table with thy divine bounty. We offer up our humble thanks and ask that you bless this food to our use and us to thy service. And make us ever mindful of the needs of others. In Jesus' name, amen. I never knew you to pray over the grub before, Dad. Yeah. Have you known each other for a long time? Oh, yeah, Dad and I go way back. I wasn't anything more than a kid when Dad picked me up. I had never heard him talking about you before. Huh? He was kind of hairy in them days. When he was a bandit, no? Oh, that's all right, kid. Everybody around here knows I used to be on the other side of the law. Yeah, we were a couple of cockleburrs, we were, huh? Had a lot of fun, didn't we? Always full of laugh, Dad. <laughs> you know, it's a wonder we didn't get our fool head shot off. That would wind up in the pen or something. Lucky. Just luck, huh? Mm-hmm. Of course, that was a... That was a long time ago. You were a bank rover, Mr. Real? Yes, ma'am. Me and your dad here. But no more. No more. Will you be in Monterey long? Well, long enough to get my horse shot and do a couple things. And after that, where are you going? I don't know, Miss Longworth. I thought I might go up to Oregon. That's an uh, awful pretty country up there. I thought I'd go take a look. Will you be here for our fiesta? When is that going to be? Well, tomorrow and tomorrow night. But you will not be able to buy any shoe for your horse because everything will be closed. I mean, uh, the barber shop and the blacksmith bank, no? Bank, everything will be closed. Yes, so why don't you stay here? You heard, senor. He's going to Oregon. Well, you know, I just, I just could lay over a day or two. Don't expect too much, kid. It's just a street dance, that's all. Well, that must be enough there to give a man a laugh. Then you will stay? Well, from such a lovely young lady, I don't know as how I could rightly refuse an invitation. <laughs> yeah, I'll stay. <laughs> I'm telling you, for real. Yeah. Well, I don't know about you, kid, but it's been a great day for me. For five years, it's been tearing at me, and I'm sure glad it's all under the bridge. I bet. Good party, Dad. You tell the missus thanks again for me. Yes, I will. Good night, Rio. Thanks for coming. My pleasure, Dad. I say I got a right to know where you been. Just so there ain't no misunderstanding, Bob, as far as what I do goes. You ain't got no rights at all. Just so as you understand me. I didn't ride 900 miles to come up empty. Bank don't open till day after tomorrow. What about Longworth? Nothing about him. When the bank opens, I'm going to kill him. Well, welcome to the party. And we hope you enjoy yourself. Now, every year we have this fiesta to remind one another that we're neighbors, friends. Also, I'd like to take this opportunity to thank all of you for electing me to another term as sheriff. I want you to know that I appreciate it. 
and that I will continue to do my best to make this city and, well, to make this county a place where we can be proud to raise our children. When... Oh, that's it. Let's have it. Come on. Come on. I'm glad you like it. I like it $20 worth. I couldn't sell it. My husband gave it to me. I like it $30 worth, then. Well, all right. Muy bonito, pero $30. This little bird seed. Hello, Helen. Hello. Hello. I just wanted to tell you thank you for the very lovely evening you gave me last night, and they appreciate it very much. Well, I'm very happy that you like it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Hey, real boy. Well, there it is. <laughs> Are you having a good time? Well, it didn't get started yet, Dad. <laughs> All right, listen, I saw you making that speech out there and kicking up there. You, you must be a big man around these parts. Well, I try to fit in, don't I, Mother? Huh? Yes, and you're really having fun there. <laughs> yes, I'm really having fun, what aren't you? What about that dance? Never mind the dance. What about you dancing, huh? No, come on, man. It's all right, man. <laughs> Howdy, Miss Longworth. Hello. Say, this is our dance, isn't it, Louisa? Oh, well, I believe Miss uh, Louisa's been spoken for, haven't you, Miss Louisa? <laughs> Pardon me? Excuse me. Late and on, Lon. Day late and a dollar short, huh, Lon? Come on, let's get some of that beer. Come on, dance it up. Huh? Hey, Louisa. Louisa, I think your mother could use some help. Hey, excuse me. I'll be back. Yeah. The barbecue stand. Well, man, I, I don't believe I ever met your friends. My name's Emery. Emery, Bob Emery? Yep, that's me. Yeah, I see your picture in the post office. <laughs> well, you must have heard of me, Sheriff. Johnson. Harvey Johnson. Well, gents, the... Law is loose enough a turn or two during fiesta time, but tomorrow I'll be back running a pretty tight town, so as long as you fellas will be hauling out in the morning, enjoy yourselves. You bet. See you later, Sheriff. Still there. Uh, Where did you pick up the crow bait? Well, pecking's so slim these days, Dad. We don't. Hardly running the studs like you no more. Yeah, I guess it's about time to say goodbye. Rio, I want to tell you something. Before you go, 
In all my life, I've never met anyone like you. I'm so sorry you're going, because I would like to know you better. If you knew me better, you might wish you hadn't. Oh, no, I'm sure not. Goodbye, Miss Louisa. I thank you for everything. Talk to you, huh? No, but this is serious. Yeah, I thought you ran away with a harness salesman or something, huh? What's serious? Let's go home, huh? Just for a little oh, while. Let's I... go home. Oh! oh, 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 oh. Please, no reason. <laughs> there, what, what, what? Huh? Wait a minute. It's about Louise. What about Louisa? <laughs> I haven't seen her for an hour. And I don't see you for neither. Well, that's not awful. <laughs> please, please. <laughs> What? Why don't you go on and try to find them? Not now, not now, no. Yes, now. I say now, please, Mr. Longworth, now. All right, Mrs. Longworth, I'll find her. But I'll be back. All right, you go on. She's cool that you're drunk. Huh? Chet! Hi, Dad. Oh, Lizzie. Yeah. Chet, have you seen my gal, Louisa? Here, let me fry you up a little bit. No, no, we don't mix it, do we? Oh, she was dancing around with that fellow over there a while ago. You look very handsome tonight, Sheriff. Well, so do you. Enjoying yourself? Decent woman I've ever met. 
I'm sure you you have met many nice women in your life before. Yeah, I met a few. Not many like you. Something I want to tell you, Mr. Weasel. Uh, lied to you about myself. I told you I was just a drifter and I ain't true. I work for the government. Why did you lie about it? Well, I had to. I was sworn in under oath not to talk about my job. Anyhow, I'm going to Oregon tomorrow, but not just to look around. I'll be gone as long as four or five months. Will you have to come back to Monterey sometime? Yeah, I'm hoping to. Miss Louise, I don't have much time to court you. And I... I ain't exactly what you'd call a high-bred gentleman. But before I go, I want you to know that I think you'd make a man a wonderful wife. I ain't got no right to say this, but... I want you to wait for me. I don't know what to say. You don't have to say nothing now. I was just hoping you'd think about it. Yes, I will wait for you. I don't have no idea how good that makes me feel. I don't have much anything to give you. I don't have no ring or nothing. All I got is this necklace there. My mother gave this to me just before she died. And it'd mean an awful lot to me if you'd wear it while I'm gone. I missed you very much, but I will let you every day. What can I write to you in Oregon? I ain't going to Oregon. But you must go. I don't want you to keep you from your work. I don't have no work. I make my living robbing banks. What do you mean? I mean that everything I told you about last night was lies. Everything? Yeah, just about. But your mother necklace. 
school? I never knew nothing about my mother. I bought that thing off a girl for 25 bucks. About it. I ain't gonna help much to say it, but I'm ashamed. I wish to God I hadn't. You only shame yourself. I'm late, huh? What are you doing here? I reckon I know where you've been. I was just walking. Let's take a little walk, you and me. One more ain't gonna make no difference. Get out of my way. Sorry to get you up this early, Dad. I hate to tell you this. She's been out all night. Who? Oh. Louisa. Well, that real fella. She just this minute come home, looking kind of messy, too. Sure hate to be the one to 
want to tell you, Dad. tells me that uh, you were out with Rio all night. Is that true? No. Why are you still dressed? Why hasn't your bed been slept in? Hmm? Answer me! Are you with it? Yes, but... But, but what? 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 No, they have been to... Don't you lie to me! I'm not lying to you. We just walk on the beach. That's all. You just walked on the beach. Yes, we just walk on the beach. I swear that. What's the matter? What's happened here? What is it? Lisa, what happened? Mother, I want to speak to you for a moment. Lisa, what happened? ¿Qué hiciste en toda la noche? ¿Te pasó algo? Contesta. Mother, I'm waiting. I think she's lying to me, and I want you to find out. Luisa will never lie. Fuiste con él. ¿Por qué, Luisa? ¿Por qué lo hiciste? Porque yo creí que él me quería. Y era mentira. Telling the truth? Yes. You sure? Yes. But she was out with him all night. She's all right. You keep her in her room. Still fighting for his life. That's what you got a sharp knife for, friend. Bobby! Bobby! I told you I'd be with you in a minute, Howard. <sighs> oh, what a night we had. What a night. <laughs> now, what do you want? <laughs> We're bone dry. <laughs> We're bone dry. Give us some more whiskey. Come what on. do you want to eat? You got any chili? I'm not hungry. Take a nice drink to yourself. I'll bring Use it right this here. one. That's it. Come on, drink up. I don't want any. Please. Drink up. Be a nice girl. The night's over with. Grab the glass. That's it. Now come on, drink. 
Let's see a drink. No, I don't want it. Why not? Drink, you cow. Come and drink. I... Drink it. Here. That's it. That's the way you got to treat them, Barney. Right. Treat them. You paid them and you don't 30. want to eat. You owe me six bits. Wait a minute, Barney. She's got to have something to eat. I don't want my little girl to starve. Please, I'm sick. You gonna eat? Go on about your business, Mike. Come on, take it easy now. Get it out of here. This is a nice place. What do you think you're doing? You're gonna give me a dollar now so I can pay this man off. He's mad at me. Please, oh, he's breaking my arm. <laughs> you gonna be good now? Will I be on? <laughs> yeah, just about. Right over you, sonny boy. Morning. You get up, you big tumble guts. Change nothing. We just wait for them to get on with it. Let's get a drink. It happened. We took the scuffle and he came out from behind there with that scatter gun. Sounds like him. Yeah, he didn't give me no selection. <laughs> he was always asking for it. If it hadn't been you, it would have been somebody else, I guess. here. I'll bring the corner over. You fellas give me a hand. Yeah, you bet. Let's put him in the ring. I think it'd be a good idea if you'd hand over your gun. All right. Ephraim. Yeah. Tim, on.
Left hand, kid. Dump it. Lance. Come on. trouble around here. No, kid, you ignored my warning and went right ahead and killed a man, didn't you? Well, we don't want his kind around here. I'm going to teach you a lesson you'll never forget. Now, let's see the kind of stuff you're made of. That's a pretty good start. What's happening to Romeo? You gotta get down and do something. Do something? Not this horse. There's enough shotgun down there to start a war. Besides, it might help him to get rid of some of that snot nose. What's this gonna do about the bank? Well, we just have to kiss that goodbye for today, anyway. You better kill me. Kill you? Yeah. No. No, there's no need for that. Your gun days are over. On time. Ephraim, bring the horses here. If you ever come back here again, I'll shoot you down like a dog in the street. All right, that's all. It's all over now. Go on, back home. Clear down to the rib bone. Yeah, we sure sorry about that, Rio. We got in on the tail end of everything, and there wasn't nothing we could do. It's all right, Bob. The place was crawling all over with deputies. You know me, Rio. If there was anything I could have done, I'd have been in there like a streak. I said it's all right, Bob. Well, what's it going to be now? There's a small fishing village up the coast a couple of miles. Called Punto del Diablo. When we get there, what then? We'll just wait. Just wait. Think you can make it that far, Rio? Say, they really did mash that in. Looks like it might be all broke up. 
Yeah, I guess you won't be doing no business with that for quite a spell. Well, there's no need for you to hang around, Bob. It ain't that real. It's just that I'm thinking of you, that's all. Come on, let's go. Some rooms. My friend is sick. And we need a place to stay. How many rooms? Four. What is that? Fish? Something dead. Hey, where can we get a drink around here? There. Wait a minute. Boy, you're just as pretty as a bird on a limb this morning. Say, I heard from a friend of yours. That fella, what's his name? Uh, Rio. Thought you'd be interested. Really? What about him? Oh, nothing. He's uh, hanging out down at the point, licking his back. How would you know? Somebody smell him, I guess. Weeks. I think the hunt is finished, Chico. It's not going to get any better. Let it go. Let's go back to Morelos and lay in the sun. Forget these long words. He's not worth it. Huh? What do you say, amigo? Must be crazy.
to you. Get them stinking fish out of here. I'm through with the fish, Harvey. That and them damn waves flopping in all day long. Six weeks in this puke hole and listen to him. That end ain't getting no better. How's the hand, Rio? Oh, it's coming. Oh, Rio, I've been wondering if we ought to lay around here anymore. Tell me different, Bob. I've been thinking a lot about all that kale waiting in the bank. How about the dipper, Bob? I'll tell you what we're going to do. We're all going to lay for that sheriff outside his house some sunup. Cut him down with scatter guns and then take that bank. That's not my style, Bob. It ain't, huh? Well, maybe you better change it, because your style seems a touch slow to me. And I'm getting tired listening to that bull. We rode 900 miles, because you're supposed to be the big man with an iron. The way things are going, I think even I can outpull you now. I could get six in me. I got that one in you. How about? Si no piensas levantarte toda la mañana, hija. Son las ocho de la mañana. Ándale, levántate. Hay muchas cosas que hacer. Mira, toda la casa está tirada y tú aquí. Luisa. Luisa, ¿por qué no me contestas?
I'm fine. Are you all right now? Yeah, I'm all right. Most of none. How'd you find me here? Lan told me. Lan? I don't know how he knows. No matter. I'll be getting out of here pretty quick. Where are you going? Well, I'll figure that out when I'm finished up with Longworth. Finish what? I'm gonna kill him. You're gonna kill him? That's right. But why? Just because he whipped you? Yeah, that and a couple other things. I know it was a terrible thing what he did. And I was ashamed for him. Those are not reasons for to kill a man. Reasons? I got reasons. I got 1,708 of them. So many days I spent down in that lead mine in the pen in Sonora. That's how many nights I spent digging the maggots out of the sores in my ankles, with the rats running all over me. I lay awake for five years at night, listening to men screaming and praying while I was getting beat to death. I don't understand. You don't, huh? Well, it ain't hard to understand. Five years ago in Mexico, we was caught on the hill by Rurales. And he ran off to get fresh mounts. And he never come back. He was the best friend I had. And he left me there for rot. And you know what for? Two sacks of gold. Are you sure he did this? No. Well, that's my sad tale. And when it's over, I was hoping you'd come away with me. After you murder him? That ain't murder. That's just standing up, same as any man would do. Do you think that to kill him would make you a man? Well, I don't know about that. But I know that I thought about him every day for five years. And that was the only thing that kept me going. Leo, there are not many chances in life to be happy. And I think that we have a good one now. Won't you try to forget this? Get it? Not as long as I breathe. Thank you.
please. Please try to forget this. Please. Please take me with you. We can be very happy. Can you forget? Can you forget all? I can't. You? I can't. Don't you understand? I can't. I gotta die to forget that. Then I'll be going away too. Because I don't want to be here when, when they bury you. I love you. Wait a minute. You must have had some reason for coming all the way down here. Yes, I did. But it doesn't matter now. I'm going to raise you for a bit. Boy, that, that's too rich for my blood, Bob. <laughs> New York, I guess where's this? <laughs> well, okay. now, thanks for the donations, Jim. <laughs> How about some of your cash? There, Romeo. I ought to dig up something for being around this manure pile. Oh. <laughs> that's right, Bob. You know, maybe the boys all petered out from playing on the beach with that little jumping bee. That's right, Bobby. Sure, share with us. Get up, you scum sucking pig. Yeah! I want you standing when I open you up. Now, get on up. You got right on the edge. You mention her once more, and I'm gonna tear your arms out. Forget about the bank tomorrow, huh? Yeah. What are you gonna do now? I'll be going in after in the morning. What about long ones? I just pray to God I don't run into them. Weathers Modesto? I don't know. Are you going back to old Mexico? I just might. What do you think about it, Harv? Well, nothing else to do. How about your friend? Is he still set on going in after that female? Yeah, I guess so. I don't know. If you want to say goodbye, then we go, huh? All right. Chico. 
We'll be riding out now. I just come to say adios. We rode a long way together, Buster. That's right. You think of me once in a while, no? You bet. You bet. I'm gonna miss you, free home. Hey, listen. You get tired around here. Come to Montreal. I got a little place, not in Tempo's lot. It's not much, but you can't live quiet there, eh? Huh? Might do that, Chico. Just might do that. Bueno, adios, amigo. Adios, boy. You take care. Take the bank right now. You mean just the two of you? Kind of figured on maybe three. You in or you out? Not me. That's no good. If we go in now, we make a lot of trouble for Rio, you know? If we wait, maybe. We're all through waiting for Rio. No more waiting and no more taking that bull, because he ain't the big man no more. I am. Now, you coming or not? Not me. Neither are you. You gonna try to stop me, Cholo? Yeah, I'm gonna stop you. Well, now, Modesto, I'm... I'm real disappointed you pulled on an old sidekick like that. You're gonna give real time. And I tell you something. One more word out of you and I cut you in half. One more word, huh? Let me see. Maybe I can think of one. Yeah, I got one. G-R-E-A-S-E-R. Freezer? <laughs> Try it again. <laughs> I'm real disappointed in Greaseball, ain't you, Harv? Sure am. <laughs> Maybe this is what you're looking for. <laughs> Eat him, Reza. Malditos. You had a good life, Cholo. Morning, Sheriff. The 
Radio said tell you wait here. What for? Said he was coming in to kill you. You tell him I'm waiting. All right, I'll tell him. Had my father been here yet? He was here a little while ago. Now, honey, you're going to be a real good little girl, ain't you? You're not going to scream and you're not going to run out of here, are you? All right, then. You get over there in the corner and sit down. You won't get hurt. Now, you better get busy or I'll blow your liver out. Shot up everything. I run one clean out of town. I'd done the best I could. Tell me what happened. I held up the bank. That's what happened. Who did? Rio's bunch. The teller got Bob Emery and the other one got away. They killed a little Ames girl. What about Rio? Didn't see him. Smart. Thought maybe they got you. That's why I come out here. They got me all right. I'll be right back.
Yeah, I'll remember this. You'll remember nothing. Now get, get back! You're going to get yours. Hear me? You. You'll get him on. Come in. Hurry up. Come on. Hurry up. Come on. Outside. That's all. You too, Lon. Well, that's it, kid. I guess there's nothing more to say. Send Bob Emery in there to tell you to stay home. Well, uh, I could be wrong. But then I'm not going to be judging you. Those folks out there will. They'll be your jury. You're dying to get me hung, ain't you? No, kid. You've been trying to get yourself hung for the past ten years, and this time I think you're going to make it. You should have quit when you were ahead. Like you. Mm -hmm. Like me. You're a one-eyed jack around here, Dad. I seen the other side of your face. You know where I spent the last five years? Got my guts out down in that pen in Sonora. Now, what you think of that? I think you're lying. Faster than a dog can trot. I am gonna get a trial, ain't I, Dad? Oh, sure, kid, sure. You'll get a fair trial. And then I'm going to hang you, personally. Rio. Change your mind. The reason I wasn't coming in after Dad, and I don't know nothing about that bank. I was coming in to take you away with me. I was going to ask you to be my wife. It is true. I ain't got no time for lying. Listen to me. tell you something. I am going to have your baby. Well, why didn't you tell me before? Because I was afraid. I thought that you don't want. No. It will be something wonderful. Because he is our love. And you will be very proud of I love you, Louisa. I never did get a chance to say it. 
I want you to know something that I was thinking about you tomorrow. Don't say that. They will listen to you at the trial. And they will know that you are innocent. But you must believe that. You bet. All right, let's go. Come on. Break up this little Valentine. You heard me. Step back. Turn around. Get a hold of them bars. Keep your feet back. What's the matter with you? Nothing. Just sorry the county's going to take care of me. I like to do it myself. With this. Both barrels and double on shot about waist high. Want to? Let's see you pull it, Lon. All right. Go ahead. Make a try for it. Well, ain't no need for that, Lon. So all you gotta do is just squeeze one off. Go on. You're supposed to have so much guts. Mm -mm. You're the one with the gut, Lon. Second thought, maybe it'd be more fun to wait till tomorrow. How's your face gonna look? All turning black and, and your tongue is sticking out. Why don't you just shut your big mouth, Lon? Why don't you tend to your own business? Forgetting one thing, Lon. Yeah? What's that? Ain't hung yet. Yeah, but you will be, brother. You ain't getting no older than tomorrow. Oh, say. Let's don't forget about her. I'll be taking care of that before they cut you down. You got the spit. <laughs> I sure am, ain't I? <laughs> you watch yourself. What's the matter? Aren't you hungry? What is going to happen to him? What's going to happen to who? Is he really going to be hung? Oh, of course he is. Could it be that you have your own reasons for wanting him to die? No reasons at all. He just uh, robbed the bank and killed a little girl, that's all. Why do you ask? Well, I heard you might have uh, personal reasons. Personal reasons? Like what? Hmm. The story about the, you run away from him in Mexico and leave him to die. Did you? It's true. I've heard that story. What did you hear? He told Luisa. Smart pup. It is the truth. The truth, why he choke on the truth. Now what the hell is the matter with you? I will tell you. Luis is going to have his baby. Yes. Please listen to me. You have been good to us, and I'm grateful. 
What if I talk to you so is because I don't want my daughter to suffer as I did. Then you lied to me that morning. Yes, I lied to you, but... Shut up! Is this the thanks I get for taking you out of the bean fields and giving you respectability? I gave you the clothes on your back and I gave you a roof over your head. And what's more, I gave your daughter my name, mine, when she had none of her own. Everything you say is truth. But now she needs your help more than ever. Help? I'll help. It's taken me five years to build this decent life. I'm not going to stand by. Kennedy him will rule. not help. Let go of my arms. Please, don't Let destroy go our my life. Hands. Please. Yeah. He's guilty and he's going to pay. Don't lie to me anymore. I saw it on your face since the first day he came here. Your hatred is more important to you than anything, including our own lives. And you will do anything to hide that memory of what you did to him, even to kill. I told you to shut up. His execution will be a day earlier, that's all. I brought him something to eat. Tell you what, why don't you just trot on home? Because you ain't going to give him nothing. My father told me to bring this, and you're supposed to give it to him. He never said nothing to me about it. All right. I'll tell him that you refused. Wait a minute. Let me see it. What do you got in here, anyhow? That's just some stew. Just take a little peek. You're not supposed to touch that. Thank you. 
That's right, Mom. I up in here right quick. I count eight. I ain't got them keys. I'm gonna take you off at the neck. One. You ain't about to take my neck off with that little old popper. That's two. You'll be lucky you hit the wall. Three. I might get shut up a little bit diving down these stairs. But you're gonna hang anywhere you put it. You're running a bluff, brother. Right. I'm gonna call you. Go ahead, try it, Lon. Six. All I gotta do is duck a little bit and you're done. Seven. Six. I'm coming. Turn around, come in here, back. Step in here. Left hand, take that belt off. Down on your knees. Look here, Ron. Wasn't loaded. Get them keys out. Just turn around and get your time. Send me the best horse you got. Wait. I ain't got any. They're all gone. You're gonna die if you're lying. Get that turn around, you. Put your hands down.
get off that horse. Yes, you must go now, quickly. I want you to tell your mother something. I want you to tell her that I tried to run. But he didn't give me no chance. And tell her I'm... Well, just tell her whatever you have to. Will you be all right? Where can you go now? I don't know. I'll have to figure that out later. Maybe Oregon. Well, I'll be riding for a while, anyhow. Why don't you go to Mexico? I could meet you in Sonora in April. After my baby comes. No. No. They're looking all over hell for me in Mexico. That don't matter. Listen, you'll be looking for me in the spring. One of them dark nights, you're gonna see a jackass in the window, and that's gonna be me. And don't worry about it. We'll find some place. I better start kicking now. Go. Please go. I love you, Rio. Take care of yourself, because I'm so afraid to losing you. Dios me viene. 